For that despicable story tonight on Long Island. A young man in Nassau County arrested for taking pictures of girls he went to high school with and photoshopping them onto bodies in sexually explicit pictures and videos. Can you imagine? He posted it all on a website with the girls' names and contact information. The victims now very much young women, and they are furious. Here's Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne. Prosecutors say 20 year old Patrick Carey of Seaford took social media photos of girls he knew from high school and middle school in Levittown, photoshopped them into sexually explicit photos and videos, and posted them to a porn website. They say during the past two years, he posted about 1,200 of these pornographic images. It was them at cheerleading, it was them smiling at the beach. You know, they were just living their lives and had their images taken. Um, and modified and shared to strangers. Prosecutors say Carrie, under 14 different usernames on the website, included with the photos the names, addresses, and phone numbers of the young women and encouraged users of the porn website to harass and threaten the women with sexual violence. Many of the victims did, in fact, experience that. They received uh, very sexually explicit voicemails or private messages from strangers. Some of the women were in court today in Mineola when Carrie went before a judge. We're blurring their faces and the faces of their family members because the case involves sex crimes. I just hope he gets what he deserves. These are good girls. They're in college. It's it's just horrible what this animal has done. We had 11 brave young women who came forward and testified, but based on our review of this website, there are probably approximately 50 women he did this to. Prosecutors are encouraging those women to come forward to police like these other women did. That's how law enforcement found out about Carrie. These young women are the unsung heroes of this case. Carrie pled not guilty to charges of aggravated harassment, stalking, and promoting a sexual performance by a child. He's being held on $50,000 bond.